Hello everybody, it's wonderful to have you with us. I pray wherever you are that you know that God is with you exactly in the place where you are. Well, we are in this series called Knowing Jesus. My prayer is that you are knowing Jesus more and more if you've been doing this for a while with us or if you are here and brand new for the very first time as someone just recently said to me, I pray that you would grow in your knowledge of Jesus. Let's go to the scriptures. We're going to read from Matthew got Matthew's Gospel, chapter 9, verse 35. And it says this. Then Jesus went about all the cities and the villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and curing every disease and every sickness. And when he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. And then he said to his disciples, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, ask the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. This is a passage of scripture that is packed with information, packed with information. And we get an insight into who Jesus is. Jesus, one, we see, it says, Then Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and curing every disease and every sickness. What, what immediately in terms of knowing Jesus, what I see is that Jesus is clear about his mission and Jesus is hardworking. Jesus is doing what he came to do. And we could just stop there and then ask ourselves the question, if I'm called to be like Jesus, am I doing all that is in front of me to do? Maybe not doing what Jesus did, but am I doing? Because Jesus clearly was. In verse 36, it said, when he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them. That's one of the things I love about Jesus. As you read the scriptures and you read the scriptures of God, the God our Father, it, it, there is this great sense of compassion and mercy by God, and, uh, which is very exciting to see God in that way, that God is compassionate, loving toward us, merciful toward us. Um, uh, and it says, when he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless, uh, like sheep without a shepherd. So often uh, I, I have people who write to me from all kinds of backgrounds. And many of them say to me at times, I'm lost. I'm successful in terms of the world and what the world says I'm meant to have. I have money, I have all kinds of things, but I am lost. And I have come to see so often in my own life that it's, it, it, it doesn't matter how much you have, how much power you have, it doesn't matter how little you have or how powerless you have, unless you have God in your life, you can feel very lost in life. It doesn't matter how much or how little that you have in life. Um, and, and so Jesus sees that. In other words, Jesus sees into the very depths of us. Jesus sees the very... Uh, it's intimate circumstances of our life. And so we can bring those circumstances before God. We can bring exactly the place where we are before God. And we can say to God, God, this is where I am. And we can have confidence that God sees. Jesus says they were, they were harassed and helpless. Harassed. They were upset. They were overcome by the circumstances. They were helpless. They needed help. And Jesus saw and he came in, in, in through his salvation, through his death and resurrection, to give help that we couldn't have gotten any other way. And then he says to his disciples something that I find very interesting. The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. And Jesus says, there's so many people to be reached, so many people to hear, but there are so few. Uh, there's so few people. Therefore, ask the Lord of the harvest to send out uh, laborers into his field, into the harvest. In other words, he says to the, lay, the disciples, the one who are already following you, it's up to you to ask the Father to send people. And that's one of the things that I learned a long time ago, that as a Christian, it's my responsibility to pray to God that God would send out those people who would intersect with our children who would intersect with our husbands and our wives, who would intersect with people in our world that need God, that God will come to us as we call out to God to come. It seems that Jesus' way is to say, go to the Father, ask the Father, the Father sees, and he will come. Because the very nature of God, the very heart of God, is to be compassionate toward you 
and toward everyone else. Loving Father, we thank you today that you love us, be with us and show us your mercy and grace. And Lord God, may we be like those sheep that need your loving care and may we accept it as it comes into our life. And Father, we make this prayer in the name of Jesus through the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you all, everybody. See you tomorrow. And don't forget, wherever you are, God is never far from you.